Erster's Experiment Hans Christian Ersted 1777-1851 One of the leading scientists of the 19th century played a crucial role in understanding electromagnetism. In 1820, Hans Christian Ersted proved that electric current can affect a compass needle through an experiment that was never performed before. In his experiment, he placed a compass underneath a wire and then turned on electric current. The needle of the magnetized compass showed movement. Ersted recognized the significance of what he had just done. Earlier, magnetism and electricity were considered to be two different sciences. But, after Ersted's experiment, the fact that electricity and magnetism are interrelated is known. Some scientists, influenced by this experiment, continued with the modern field of electromagnetism. Their search resulted in several new scientific theories and various vital inventions like the dynamo and the electric motor. Created technologies such as the radio, television and fiber optics. In the honor of Hans Christian Ersted, the unit of magnetic field strength is named Ersted. Ersted was made a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences in 1822. Now, let us perform the Ersted experiment. Take two small wooden sticks of 1 cm height each and having slit at their top. Fix these two sticks on a thermocol board. Take a copper wire. Pass the wire through the slits. The wire should be of 24 gauge so as to pass through the slit. Now connect the key, which is open, to one end of the wire. Take another similar wire and connect it to the other end of the key. Take a battery of 9 volts. Connect the open terminal of one wire to one end of the battery and the open terminal of the other wire to the opposite end of the battery. Place a compass below the wire between the wooden sticks. Bring a bar magnet near the compass and observe. Now, take the bar magnet away from the compass and observe. The compass deflects when the bar magnet is near it. Now, switch on the circuit and observe again. The magnetic needle deflects when the current is passing through the wire. From this, it can be concluded that wherever electric field exists, magnetic field exists. In order to know reasons for deflection of compass needle with no bar magnet near to it, we need to understand the idea of magnetic field and influence of electric field on magnetic field.